All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're going to do another whip and chat here with Timu's Stained Glass Cardinals, or JY907, 30 by 40 centimeters, and round drill. Okay, we're getting close to finishing this section here. We're getting there. Uh, 3765, number 17, uh, capital P. Okay, we just have, like, the background left. Hopefully all your crafting and other endeavors are going well. Yeah, we'll just hang out for a bit. Yeah, it's probably been a few days. Yeah, about a couple days at least. Alright, I'd work later this afternoon, but yeah, see what we can do. Had lunch and all that, so good to go. Here, we'll slide those other drills up. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, let's put that tweezer cover here. Oh yeah, do we have the whole view of this part of the canvas? Okay, sounds good. Yep, I'm still working with the tweezers. There are probably various theories as to why the drills aren't picking up. <laughs> they're dirty. I think there's just no facets on the round drills, so they're hard to pick up with the pen, the applicator pen, so yeah, could be dirty too. I couldn't really tell, but high possibility, yep. Valid suggestion for sure, but Yeah, just a few color blocks of this uh, capital P color, this blue. Yeah, it's a nice bright sunny day, nice blue sky, gentle breeze. <laughs> yeah. Just ran a couple of errands this morning. Okay. I'm just ready to work this afternoon on my part time. I have, I have to hold this canvas. This will just be all over the place. looks pretty cool so far so I'm sure it will turn out just fine yeah I am sticking to the other adhesive though that's kind of a bummer <laughs> sure that's still sticky for when I do get over there that second section <laughs> still like cleaning my hand on the canvas even if there's adhesive down there it's a really bad habit <laughs>
Yeah. As for using tweezers, I'm fairly familiar with using tweezers uh, for uh, pixel art. Yeah, that's uh, three-dimensional uh, cubes that are kind of like drills and have like the kits have different colors and you put the cubes onto plastic pegs with see-through uh, plastic boards and you follow a pattern to place the colors down in certain spots in each tile. Yeah, so I am used to tweezers in that way. Yeah, pixel art. It kind of like diamond painting, but yeah, you have pattern sheets to follow and you fill up a clear tile and multiple tiles create a picture instead of diamond painting where you just have the whole canvas just in one piece. It can be like four or six tiles to create the entire picture but the pattern sheets yeah you have to place the tile in a certain position and keep it consistent as you add colors to the tile in specific spots in order to create the picture. Yeah, so you have to use tweezers for those pieces. But yeah, I am used to using tweezers, but ever since I started diamond painting, I just used the applicator pen and the wax. Yeah. But since the drills weren't picking up, on this particular canvas. I had to move the tweezers or else we're gonna be here forever for such a small canvas. But I have a full-time job and a part-time job. <laughs> it can be hard to sit down and diamond paint plus my mom wants the studio at certain times. So kinda of have to work around a couple things. Do try and sit down and diamond paint for a bit anyway. Yeah. I just don't do it on consistent days or whatever. Oh, well, yeah, just wing it. <laughs> just. I have next Monday off, like Labor Day, for my full time, so. Yeah, have a day off there, so that's good. Then I'm back to work on my full time Tuesday, um, part time Wednesday, half Thursday off, and back to my full time Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's just constant. <laughs> just always going. Yeah. All good. I'm used to it. Just rather be working and paying my bills and yeah. It's just my kind of routine. Just I just have to look at my phone, see what day it is, and then go from there. I get up in the morning. It's like, okay, what am I doing today? <laughs> What's the rough outline for today? <laughs> I don't think, maybe I think like a week ahead. Based on my work schedule, that's about it. At tried planning stuff in the past and a little further ahead and yeah just something always comes up and yeah it's just tedious <laughs> okay it's capital P right there so I'll just fill that in right meow okay there we go 
because lo and behold, I will miss a symbol. Oops. If it's in like a really on its own kind of spot in a section, even if it's just this size. Yeah. It's okay. That's what the symbols are for. If you do miss a spot, do you miss a symbol while you're placing a color? You can just look at the rest of the section and say, hey, I had probably already did that color. Okay, I need to fill that in. Yeah. <laughs> All good. Yeah, been a couple of colors on here. Oh yeah, I got all that color. Uh, no you didn't. <laughs> yep. No worries. Not the end of the world by any means. You can just grab that color and stick it on after. Yeah, I was like double checking and triple checking the canvas before I put a color away, but still just depends on the kind of day I'm having <laughs> can be sharp and focused and get it all figured out but one day and then the next day it's just like uh, don't put that color away yet and there's still a whole chunk over here it's just like uh, <laughs> oops <laughs> I even awake today derp <laughs> yep all good stuff happens just go with it mm. I was freaking out with the small so yeah I had a scheduling conflict for like next Friday for my part time so I mentioned it like I went to my workplace and so I had to talk to the manager <laughs> Yeah, hey, um, I'm at my other job, the Friday. The Wednesday is just fine, but can't work the Friday. Okay, we'll cover it. Okay. <laughs> Any problems, talk to your, speak to the manager. Solved. There you go. I lost a shift, but I'm at my full-time that day, the Friday, so... Okay, I'm just fairly cordial about it. Don't blame anybody. I let my part-time employer know what my availability is. But when uh, you're scheduling like uh, dozens of other staff for like a whole week. Uh, yeah, stuff like that, it can happen. Um, why we get emailed the schedule and then that message shows up hey this shift doesn't work or something yeah. really haven't had a problem a scheduling problem in a long time but, well managers the only one doing it now there she did have help but that other uh, Management member went moved to a different restaurant, so was transferred. So now it's just the manager doing it, the <laughs> store manager. And yeah, that stuff's that kind of stuff's going to happen. No, just have to mention it, say something. Oh, okay. We'll cover it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's coming for Wednesday. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's hours. I'm just part-time there, and it's not a big deal if I just get a shift. It's fine. Not going to be picky. At least I'm getting hours, so... Yeah. All the stuff you can get. But with uh, 
students going back to school. Yeah, uh, probably going to be short staffed. But it's the way she goes. How much I can do. It's just. Okay, who's going to stick around? <laughs> uh, available only when I'm not working on my full time. I do Continental. One week I work Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The next week I work Wednesday, Thursday. So any days that I'm off from my full time, I can use for my part time job. And I just give them my availability every week on Sundays for the week. For a week in advance, yeah. Oh, um, I'm sure it becomes musical uh, hours to be scheduling like over a dozen people to run a restaurant for an entire week. I'm sure that's not the only situation that comes up with scheduling. It's like, gotta state your availability and all that, which I have, but just stuff like that just comes up. Not a big deal. I just gotta say something. Not that I. want to lose a shift or anything but it just I can't divide <laughs> I can't be in two places at once full time I'm straight 12s part time it varies 4 to 8 hours I get what I get <laughs> time wise my full time it's just a consistent schedule five days then two days back and forth used to be a uh, four weeks days four weeks nights but now I just straight days so and the person I switch off with that is paired with me does straight nights so he likes night shift better and it so I can get uh, more shifts at McDonald's at my part-time yeah I'm pretty sure I mentioned I worked at McDonald's so <laughs> if not there it is oh that's my part-time mmm I don't know, it's income. They, I've just been in the food industry for two decades, so. Food manufacturing and food service. That's where I've been for past 20 years. Just right after high school, I just started working full time. Yep, got my secondary school diploma and yeah, just kept working ever since. <laughs> so I'm just used to working. Vacation time just feels weird to me as I'm just used to being at work all the time. Yeah, I get the odd day off, but some weeks where I'm just working seven days. It's at two different places, but I get evenings 
off. Really don't do um, usually exercise biking in the evening or before I go to my part-time job. It's a case of like working late that day. But yeah, word search, listening to music on the exercise bike. It is kind of my personal time right there. Yeah, I read a chapter of Stone of Tears recently. That book has just been sitting by my exercise bike for the longest time. I've read a chunk of it, but it's kind of on a reading binge for a bit there. And then, yeah, Terry Goodkind, I believe, is the author of that. Yeah, I talked about those that sort of truth series. Yeah, those are hearty chapters in those epic fantasy books. Yeah, yeah. Terry Buchan. It sometimes just like late at night, it's just easier to pick up a word search book. Yeah, kind of lazy in that way, like just just doing word search <laughs> instead of reading a high fantasy novel after a long day. Yeah. Oh, had to be in a certain mind center read a book. I don't know, it's yeah. <laughs> It's not a habit like getting on the exercise bike and yeah, just picking up a word search book. Yeah, the reading just hasn't developed into a habit. But I could sit down and like read a chapter if I was really focused that day. But uh, tension kind of just goes all over the place sometimes. Just, I always have to be doing something, it seems, get restless otherwise. It's like, okay, yeah, I played a couple of games on my phone, like I had breakfast or whatever. It's like, I don't work till la -di da but... I just got texted by my uh, supervisor at my part time. Yeah. 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 Uh, just gonna get more hours today. There, uh, just getting more hours today. There we go. That's better. So, you probably won't see this uploaded till like later tonight while I'm on the exercise bike. That's fine. Yeah, it covers the hours that I'm missing for that Friday. Okay, yeah, that's fine. As long as I get half an hour in for this. 24? Yep. Okay, I'm working today anyway, so. Okay, so capital T, uh, a G, and an S. An I. I will get this I symbol, 14. 
Oh, I haven't done 14 yet. Okay. So 14 is this light blue. It's literally like a drill. So I'll fill this in right now. 964. I just need like a single drill. <laughs> Good thing I had lunch and all that for uh came out here. Okay. Okay, that was literally all I needed <laughs> for that. Fourteen. Alright. Uh, oh, I have like 13 and 14 still, or 13 still. Okay, T, uh, 958, 13, yep, here's 13, 958, yeah, there's a couple of color blocks here, a couple down there. Yep, we're almost on this section. 26, okay, uh, 13. Nine, five, eight. Yeah. Oh. Gravity. It's just something very nice. Okay, yeah, I'll pour a few in the tray this time around. Tur turquoise. But Turquoise or jade? I could be saying the wrong color shade here. A greenish blue. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> yeah, probably turquoise, but I don't know my colors, man. <laughs> Probably just go have to put my work uniform on after this. But I'll try to close out the half hour here. 27? Yeah, I have a couple more minutes. And then go to work. I was just there at my part time for the schedule and conflict thing. <laughs> All good. But I don't know. That. My store manager, she comes and goes, like, as long as she's done her stuff. She probably has to be there for, like, a certain amount of time, but I'm sure she has, like, some set hours. Yeah, but I don't know when she's there constantly. She could come in, like... An afternoon or something like I don't know what her shifts are so that's why I just went into the restaurant and was like hey I can't do this Friday this coming Friday yep all good and then yeah I get texted anytime I usually working anyway so there have been a couple shifts where I work a little longer but I'm scheduled anyway. It doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. We'll probably have a section completion update for this first part fairly soon. But anyway, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. I'm not sure if I even mentioned that this was Echoes of Color. I don't know, I'd probably derp. Anyway, down below in the description, I put the main website links for Conqueror and Pacer. They're just two fitness incentive kind of apps. Uh, me talking about being on the exercise bike is connected to that Conqueror and Pacer. You do virtual distances. 
complete virtual distance challenges in real, real world locations or fictional locations like Game of Thrones, for instance, or Harry Potter for Conquer. That's available through Conquer. They're advertising the fluff out of it and it's annoying. But yeah, it's new and exciting. Totally optional, I'm not partnered or anything, nor am I affiliated. I won't receive any sort of commission or anything. It's just information purposes only. So it's just a website link. Should take you to the main website. But totally optional, I just put it down in the description description for the giggles. Any updates regarding Echoes of Color will be posted on YouTube. I'm no longer on social media except for YouTube here. So I'll just post updates and stuff on my channel page or if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified of any posts or updates for the channel. I I think I just have GNS on here, but other than that, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.